Okay, I know this video is late and going up way past Monday, but this is our Mass Monday video for this week. And I thought I would do something different for Mass Monday and do a hair mask or at least a hair hack. Um, for this, you will need some apple cider vinegar and a spray bottle. And if you do this overnight, you will need a shower cap to put over your head. I'm not doing this overnight, so I don't need the shower cap this time. So if you want to know how this works and why we would put this on our head, please stay tuned. Okay, I found this hack on YouTube and I don't remember exactly the name of the YouTuber I found it. But I found it like five years ago and this works so well for dandruff. Um, and I always start reapplying it. I kind of fall out in the summer doing this and through the winter. Sometimes I start it back in the winter, but usually when we go into the springtime and all the, the dry skin starts coming out from the winter, or if you start getting dry skin during the winter, especially on your scalp, this may be something you would like to try. Ever since I tried it five years ago, I swear by it, and this is my go-to for dandruff. Um, I have not had, if I am using this actively, which is like you use it once a week, um, treat your hair once a week with this. Let this stay on your head at least an hour, if not three or four hours. Usually I will do it right before I'm going to bed and I know I'm going to shower in the morning and wash my head. I'll put this on, sleep with it on, and then take a shower in the morning and wash all the vinegar smell out of my hair. Um, and when you wash your hair, you just wash it normally. You don't have to do any extra steps. You just wash it normal like you would always wash it. Um, but the apricot cider vinegar kills a lot of bacterial and it just helps your scalp health so much. Um, and when you do use the apple cider vinegar, or at least in my case, you do see a very good improvement on your scalp um, health. You will not see as much flaking. Um, you don't have as much itching. You know how you have random itches on your head. You don't have much of that. Um, I do have like some like little moles and stuff that I scratch off. So this does sting a little bit when I put it on my hair because I. And you don't put it all on your hair. You put it on your scalp. So you, when you apply it, that's why you got the spray bottle. When you apply it, you do put it on your scalp and massage it in the actual scalp itself. So this is what we do. All over your head. Make sure a whole entire scalp and massage it in as you go. But make sure you put it on the whole entire scalp. And yes, this is going to stink. And yes, your hair is going to look like the freak hurricane came in when you first get it applied. But you can comb it down if if you don't want your hair to look everywhere. But I have like a lot of patches in the back. That's why I'm really going to town on the back. I make sure you get the front like hairline because you do have a lot of flaking in your hairline when you start getting flakes. But all you do is that um, and your hair will stink like vinegar but 
make sure you've got all of it rubbed in and you are not having any dry spots of your scalp because you want your scalp very well soaked in this stuff and yes it does stink but it is worth the little bit of discomfort when you don't have any dandruff um, if you are just starting this as a dandruff getting rid of technique um, when I first started using it it did take about a month to start seeing results so use this for a month and if you still have dandruff um, you might have the kind of dandruff that you need to go see a doctor for because for this mild this regular dandruff this should just make you not have dandruff ever again as long as you keep this regimen up um, I do lap on it during the summer months and then come back in it when it, in the winter when my dandruff starts because I don't have dandruff all the time and when I do start kind of getting seeing a little bit of flakage I start back up and do this again but you make sure you rub it in really good and then about an hour to three hours or more if you sleep in this this is fine um, actually the more it's on your head the better it is because I usually sleep in it so at least an hour if not three four five hours leave it on your head then after that go wash it off wash your head normally and you should start seeing the results of the itching part immediately um, your head should start not itching that much if you have like a little random itches yeah that should really calm that down um, but I put it on here um, and you can totally get this apple cider vinegar at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and you just put it and you can put the spray bottle so this is a two dollar regimen that will last you for as you see I did not use very much of that at all this will last you for months uh, months maybe even the whole year just the two dollars and help you with getting rid of your dandruff getting rid of the, the bacterials and stuff that's making your head itch and it just renews the scalp um, so much um, my head just feels so much better after I do a treatment and I will start doing I'm right now I'm starting to do my treatments that's why I kind of want you to share this I will start doing treatments now and keep doing them until the start of summer and then I'll probably start weaning them off I'll start doing these treatments like once a week now because I have started seeing a little bit of dander from the the winter months so I'll start doing these treatments now and then I'll taper off during the summer months and maybe even into the fall unless I start seeing some more dander in the fall sometimes I do do these in the fall as well it's just corn on if I start seeing the, the starts of dander then I start these um, and do them once a week if you do them once a week for about a month you should see results and if you have extremely bad dander you might want to do them twice to three times a week um, just space them out and give you a couple days in between them because when I fir first started doing these I did have longer hair and I saw in longer hair I did have to do the treatments more than once a week um, and most of you guys probably haven't even seen me in long hair <laughs> so but when I first started these I did start doing them with longer hair and I did see that I had to do the treatments more frequently to keep the dander down I don't know what it is with the long hair I guess because you have more hair follicles 
or something I don't know but if you do have longer hair you might want to try doing these at least two, twice a week to three times a week to get results um, but you just go get you a bottle of apple cider vinegar and a spray bottle and if you're going to sleep in it get you a shower cap where you won't wet your bed and your bed smell like vinegar is on the only reason you need the shower cap um, but this has very much worked for me to get rid of dander and it's a lot cheaper than a lot of the dander shampoos and all those kind of things that a lot of people try to get rid of dander but anyway I just wanted to share this little hack or beauty tip that I had found out and use it for my mask of undead because this is a hair mask in a way so I will um, sit here and probably edit while this simmers on my head and then I will go wash it out in a shower and I will be dander free um, in the next within the next two to three weeks I will be dander free again and I can just keep the regiment of using it up until the dander season is over for me um, but anyway I will see you all in the next video if you like these little tips of using household products um, for different kinds of beauty things please do let me know down below because um, I kind of like finding things like that myself and you guys might actually like me to share them with you if so please do let me know down below and I will see you all in the next video if you are new here please do click that big red button turn it gray become a kitten today because we always have room for a new kitten in our kitten fam and I will see you all in the next video love you all very much be kind to one another and enjoy your day don't just endure your day bye bye in this life we will experience pain suffering great loss for the great name pop right three times but it ain't changed it's something to think about when we praying for the rain to stop like it don't rain on the just and the unjust jesus was violated for my soul and never did nothing and nobody ever just trust and believe i won't be deceived like adam and